Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to import a JS related CSV into a beautiful PostgreSQL. So I'm using PostgreSQL 15. So I've already created my traffic database. So because the data which I'm going to load is for traffic, which is this one in CSV format, and it is JS related because it has coordinates. So going back to our PG admin, which is the GUI, the graphical user interface, that means because I'm I'm going to import the JS related CSV, that means I need to create an extension. So how do you do it? You just by by click by query tool here. Just create an extension by writing create extension post GIS. Then run. So here I'm just creating a special reference system so that my my database to be able to read the geometry data, the coordinates. So by expanding schema here, then expanding the tables, that means you have a spatial reference system. So the second stage now we are required to create columns which are related so that can be able to import our CSV data in a JS related post post create SQL. So I'll open my actually this is CSV. That means I have, I have to create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. So I'll start this by copying this. Then now how do you create a table? Now creating a table, you just have to right click, create here, then table. That means by clicking that table, you need to give it a name. Okay, I will just call it traffic count points. Yeah, that's it. Then go to my columns, automatically columns. Then I'll add one because you have eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, something like that. So I'll start my first column. So this one, because I've already copied coordinates. So now you need to ask yourself, what is coordinate? The data type. The data type, this is geometry because it is going to automatically reference from our coordinates. That means JS related. So I'll put geometry here. Then we go to another column, which is called station underscore code. So it's like station code. So I'll go back here. I'll paste it here. Then because station code, these are varying character, varying character. So I'll choose this one. Then it asks you for precision because it's a varying character. So I'll just put the maximum of maybe 350 then I'm going to another column which is station location so I'll just select copy then I'll paste it here then the same this character which are varying so I'll just put this one then I'll put a maximum of 350 then I'm going back to another column this is like from change copy then I'll paste it here so from change this is decimal so it is double double precision so I'll select this one here then I'm going to another one from longitude then I'll paste it here then double precision again then I'm going to another column which is from latitude, the start and end latitude. So I'll press it here. Then this is also double precision. Then I'll go to another column. So just like that, from elevation. Yeah, and then press it here. Then setting a data type, which is double precision. Then going to another one, which is the last one, the road code. So as you can see, the road code, the data type is just numbers, which are like whole numbers. So that means I'll just paste here. Then this one is integer. Integer. So that's it. So looking now, there is no error again. Of it. So character varying are the ones which gives you the length and precision, but double precision, they don't give you the precision and integer. 
So this is my columns. I mean, I have eight columns. That means I'm a, I'm required now to import the CSV data, which is this one opened here. So it has like a th 1,500 rows. So you can imagine if you have to create, I mean, by create row by row. So it will be very tedious. So this is the easier way of just by importing. So after having your table fixed and having it organized, then click save. That means you create your columns for that specific table. So it saves. Then when you expand here, this particular traffic count points, because this is the table, the name of the table. By expanding it here, you see, expanding columns. Now you have eight columns here. And the names are the same. So you have already created. So this is the first step. So now we need to import our CSV data, which I showed you earlier, into these specific columns. So how do you do it? We just have to right click here, here on the traffic count point, the table. Then you go to import export data. So by clicking import export data, there's a dialog opening here. So make sure in general select import because we're importing. Then you need to browse for that particular CSV which is saved. For my case, it saves traffic on points data. So by clicking open, that means the path is okay. You can always copy paste the path. Then going to options, this is where the option. So you need to select because the CSV has headers, make sure you turn on headers. Then others you can leave by default because the limiter means that this is a comma here. Then going to the columns. The columns now you see the eight columns, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which you already created previously, appears here. So that means by pressing OK, you are allowing your CSV automatically to be imported into your PostgreSQL PG and Mini. So by clicking OK, the query runs, then that means the process has started and the process has completed. So for my case, this has been completed successful. So I'll close this. Then how do you know that this is successful? First, before that, make sure you refresh so that you can have a, a recent data successful which can be loaded actually after the import of csv so that means if i want to know to see how many values have been imported that means i just go to view edit data then all rows so that means my traffic count point i expect it should be like more than like 1500 rows as how my csv was bingo just like that so that means if you scroll down here now scroll scroll to the bottom you see here scroll scroll to the bottom that means i have 1500 plus yes so that that's it so i'm opening my csv that means when i go to the bottom you see 1502 minus one because that's headers yeah so just like that so you have your imported csv already and it's gis related because when you click this geometry here it will show you those particular points so my case are points. So you see, these are the characters. You see, at the below here, these are the data type. Coordinates is geometry. Station code is character varying. I remember I kept 350. Same applies for station location. From, ch from chain is double precision. Double precision. Just like that. So it is loaded because I just pressed the geometry. View all geometries in the column. So it will show. You see? Yes. Just like that. So that's it. So that's the way of importing GIS related CSV into a beautiful PostgreSQL, which by using PG Admini as a GUI. Thank you a lot. Make sure to subscribe because I'll be dropping more videos of the same. Thank you a lot.